Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Christy. I'm a homeschool mom to three, and today's video is going to be all about our holiday homeschool plans. First, I want to mention that this is a collaboration with a few of my homeschool mom friends here on YouTube. So be sure to check out the playlist down below with all of their videos, their plans, and their resources. So first of all, I want to kind of mention kind of our flow and our routine. We actually typically take the entire month of December off of school. And by that, I mean that we stop our regular curriculum for the month of December and we just focus on kind of fun learning activities. We do some unit studies. We just spend a lot of time focusing on being together, making memories, baking and crafting and just being cozy for the holiday season in the month of December. Typically we only use like a holiday unit study at Christmas time. We don't usually use one for Thanksgiving but this year we're doing something a little bit different and we are doing a small Thanksgiving unit study that last week in November. So the unit study we are actually going to be using is five in a row mini unit and this is Cranberry Thanksgiving. So five in a row is a curriculum company. I've actually looked into their full-on curriculum many times and I think that it looks wonderful and it may be a resource I'm interested in using in the future but for now I thought it would be fun to try one of their mini units out for Thanksgiving and so this guide follows the book Cranberry Thanksgiving which I've actually never read but it's been highly recommended to me to read and so I'm really excited to read that story and then these units are really cool they come out with these units every month season holiday and they're just a lot of fun what is really cool about these five in a row mini units is that there are activities in here for all ages. And so you will just kind of pick and choose what activities you personally want to use in your homeschool for the age of your kids. So this unit has like recipes like cookie baking and a really fun cranberry pie recipe at the end. There's some nursery rhyme tie-ins here for the younger kids and also a really cool recipe for a pumpkin pie play-doh. They also go into some social studies and they talk about Sarah Hale who was a writer and they go into language arts and punctuation marks and when you go about using different punctuation marks. There's some role-playing activities in here with making a little pie shop. They also have some science in here in studying seagulls. They also have an art project in here like an onomatopoeia art project in like the pop art style which is super fun and they also talk about architectural art and New England housing in the 1900s and kind of like the design of that. And there's different projects and activities and so much fun in this unit. I'm really excited to do that unit with all of my kids. I think that I love that there's like something fun for each of them in there and something we can do all together and yeah I'm really excited about it. So switching gears to Christmas time, we actually have used the same Christmas unit study for the last two years and that is a gentle classical Christmas which we have loved. We love that unit so much. It's so beautifully done. There's so many cozy memory making projects and ideas in there and we love it. It's very biblically based on the birth of Jesus and it also ties in how to spread Jesus love to our neighbors and our community and we really love that one. However, this year since we've used that two years in a row, I wanted to do something a little bit different but I still wanted to keep the focus on Jesus. So we are going to be using this family devotional called Countdown to Christmas. This was created by Heidi Lee Anderson who goes by This Mother Hen on Instagram. If you don't follow her, I highly encourage because she is hilarious for one and she spreads some serious gospel truth in her reels. Like she is so much fun to watch. She also has a very extensive background in children's ministry and she's also a mom of four. And so she came out with this brand new unit study this year and basically took it from the viewpoint of sometimes the Bible goes over our kids heads sometimes it's hard to engage our children in Bible stories and so her aim for this was to be really engaging 
really simple and also foster a connection with your children and the story. And so Countdown to Christmas is a very simple um, 15 day devotional leading up to Christmas and you do something every single day. It's scripted which I love because her scripts are super like um, high energy and fun and I think that that is something sometimes parents need help with. So I love that she has that in there. Like she has it down to kind of what motions you do with your hands. And there's a lot of using your body movement kind of incorporated in here. She also has these really cute little ornament coloring pages to do every single day while you're reading the Bible verses. And it's just super simple and straightforward and I'm excited to see the connections that my kids form with the Christmas story using this. In the past, we have used some pretty involved Christmas unit studies. Like last year, we used Gather Around Christmas Around the World, which was a lot of fun, but it definitely was like we were doing school. And um, we really enjoyed that, but this year I wanted to keep things super simple. So along with the devotional, we are also going to be doing a novel study. I wanted to choose a book that was kind of wintry and something that I thought all of my kids would enjoy. And so the study we're going to be doing is Journey by CM Simple Studies. Now, Crystal makes some amazing, amazing resources. She has a ton of variety on her website, but this one in particular is just about the book, The Bears on Hemlock Mountain, which we've actually never read that book, but I've heard really good things about it. And it looks like a book that we will easily be able to get through in December with Without much trouble. It also looks like it's going to be good for my younger kids as well as my older child. So I'm really excited to start that book with them. So this study is all about connecting with the characters in the story. So this is a very adventurous book from what I've gathered and it's a big journey that this person is on. And so she prompts a lot of discussion to what characters are thinking and feeling and how that relates to um, your kids and journeys that they may be on. It talks about like character traits and trusting God in our different journeys that we're going on and like growing through. And I really love that they relate that to that. There's also like scripture and picture book recommendations. There's nature journaling. So you're going to be learning about different types of bears and drawing the bears and talking about differences between them. And so it's going to be really, really fun, I think. There's also poetry and different projects ideas that you can do in here and I'm really excited to use this one. I think it's going to be so much fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing our pretty simple holiday homeschool plans. I hope that you guys are encouraged by this and if you feel that tug to just kind of slow down for this season, I urge you to lean into that because it may be just what you and your children need is a, just kind of a, a break, you know, a breather to kind of slow down and refresh and spend those moments in the holiday season just together making memories. So if you are feeling that, like, psh, this is your permission to just do that. Don't forget to check the playlist down below for my friends' videos and all of their wonderful plans and resources that they're sharing down there. I'm sure that you'll find many ideas of what you could do this season. Thank you to all of you for collaborating with me on this. I appreciate each and every one of you guys so, so much. I hope everyone has a wonderful day, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye.